Transcript Autocomplete lets you define text abbreviations that will be automatically expanded during manual transcription in Transana. This feature, common in word processors, allows you to define short character combinations that will be automatically replaced with other defined text as a way of making transcription easier and more efficient. This screencast will demonstrate how to set up and use this feature in Transana. The first step in this process is to define the text abbreviations and substitutions you want to use in Transcript Autocomplete. Let's say, for example, we want to transcribe the U.S. presidential debates from 2008. The election that year was between Barack Obama and John McCain, and we want to work on the debate moderated by Bob Schieffer. Let's create autocomplete items to replace each person's initials with their last name to use as speaker identifiers. To define our transcript autocomplete items, we go to Transana's configuration options. On Windows, we go to the Options menu and choose Program Settings. On macOS, we go to the Transana menu and choose Preferences. From there, we select the Autocomplete tab. At this point, we define abbreviations under the Text to Replace field, enter the text the abbreviation should be replaced with in the Replace With field, and press the Add button. Please note that the abbreviations you enter are case sensitive. For our first abbreviation, we will enter the initials BO to be replaced with the candidate's last name, Obama, and press the Add button. Now let's define the abbreviation JM for Senator McCain and press Add, then BS for Bob Schieffer, the debate moderator. The text you type can be up to 250 characters long, including spaces, allowing you to create shortcuts for words and even complex phrases that come up repeatedly in your data. Now press OK to save the changes. When you're editing the transcript or document, simply type in a shortcut that you've defined, followed by a space, the Enter key, the Tab key, or one of several punctuation marks, including the period, comma, and colon. I'll type the moderator's initials on the first line here and press one of the keys that triggers an autocorrect replacement. I'll do the same with another set of initials on the second line. It's that simple. Your autocorrect definitions are universal within your database, so you can use them in other documents and transcripts without having to define them again.